Hey guys, Robert here from Master Guitar Academy. Today I want to show you a way to play a 12 bar blues in the key of E using dominant 13 and dominant 9 chords. And the cool thing is that we will only be using two grips or two voicings. So the first grip is for the one chord, the E13. This is a voicing I really like. This chord starts with the interval, the minor seventh, then the major third, then the thirteenth, and then the root notes on top, the one. And if you play the low E string, you can really hear that thirteenth sound. And then, for the four chord, we are going to play A9 with this voicing. If I play the A string, you can hear it. So now, I'm playing the major third as the lowest note of this voicing. And then uh, the minor seventh and then the ninth, and then the fifth on top. Those are the intervals of the chord, A9. And the cool thing here, I think, is that these two voicings go so well together. And that's, uh, I think, a big part of that is that because we're reusing the top note for both chords. For this voicing, this is the root note. The one chord and then for the four chord the same note is there but now it's the fifth for that chord so then of course the last chord the five chord is going to be b9 so we just take that same grip and move it up two frets one whole step b9 a9 and E13. So then we can just uh, start grooving on a 12 bar blues using these grips. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. Right, there we have it. These are two cool sounding chords for playing the blues. The 13th chord and the 9th chord. Now let me show you an extra cool thing about this. If we take that A9 voicing, which started with the major 3rd as the lowest note, we can take that grip and move it up here and play now it becomes the one chord, E9. Pretty cool, right? Because this same concept applies. Here is E, and here is the major third for E. So then we have the grip there. And then for the four chord, the what used to be A9, now we can play A13 with the grip we used before for the A for the E13 the one we played here. Now we use that grip for A13. Here's the A note and here's the chord. Cool, right? E9, 
A13. E9. And of course, for uh, the 5 chord, we have B13. Here is B. And for the 4 chord again, A13. And E9. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and please visit masterguitaracademy.com for a lot more lessons in a variety of styles and topics. All right, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.